What's up guys, it's Sophie. So if you're paying close attention, you are probably wondering, um, where's um where's where's your bed? <laughs> so my bed broke. Um it's broken now. There I don't well it's right there and Jordan's sitting on it, but it's a broken bed. So if I sit on it, it will collapse again. My bed broke like about almost a week ago and I have to get a new one so yeah if you're wondering like why my bed is just not there anymore that's why and now I'm sleeping on a pull-out couch that we replaced with my bed so now it's where my bed used to be and I hate it a lot but it's better than sleeping on the floor so I'm grateful that we have a pull-out couch so yeah that was just the annoying intro to this video but for the actual video I was going to do a current favorites video but I decided that that would be boring because I missed doing comedy videos and I asked you guys on Instagram for requests for a video. So a subscriber of mine named Brenna, she's very sweet, she asked me to do a types of people slash things I hate a video. And I really, really like that idea because I miss doing comedy videos and I told her that. So I wanted to do that video idea and like mix it in the theme of summer because I'm still on my summer grind, guys. Like I'm still trying to make summer videos for you guys. So I'm going to be doing a types of people slash things that I hate in the summer. Like it's basically that video but like summer edition like you get it you get it thank you guys for sticking with me through this very long annoying intro and without further ado here are the things that I hate about summer I'm gonna move this cuz I don't like yeah that was annoying throughout this entire thing I that too I don't yeah no Stores that don't have any air conditioning. As somebody who will walk into a store for the sole purpose of cooling down because it's too hot outside, I take this to heart. It is summer, like I'm trying to walk into a store, not a pizza oven. And if you can't have air conditioning, okay, but like not even a fan, like okay, this one time I walked into a hardware store, I, I don't even know what I was getting, I think I was getting like a water bottle or something, and I walked in and that heat hit me, like that heat really slapped me in the face, I was like wait. Wait, it is too hot. Like, it is just too hot. You need to invest in some air conditioning or a fan. And this hardware store had a whole entire fan section, but they can't use one of them. Um, people who don't wear deodorant. I always talk about, like, how it's good to have deodorant because it's good to make yourself smell good. But when it comes to the summer like when it comes to the summer and being in hot sweaty places not wearing deodorant like that's just selfish at this point like I have a special piece of hatred in my heart for you if you do not wear deodorant and it is summertime like please you can get a stick of deodorant for like one dollar at the Dollar Tree how are you going to be walking around just like going from your day-to-day -day things being like hey what's no, like no, put your arms down. If you are not wearing deodorant, I'm not going to hug you, I'm not going to be near you because I could smell that from like 10 miles away. Especially like, okay, if you live in New York City and you take the train, you know this all too well. When it's like a crowded train and somebody has their arm, did I shave? And somebody has their arm up like this on the pole and like you're standing right there and they're not wearing deodorant, like, I want to die. That happened to me yesterday. I was standing on the train and this man put his arm up and there was like sweat stains. I was like, whatever, like it's hot. But when he raised his arm, in 0.2 seconds I was like, okay, you did not put on deodorant this morning because my nose is literally melting. Like, and it's not even from the heat. It's from that stench. What is that stench? That is so disrespectful to not wear deodorant in the summer. If I owned a store, I would literally give away deodorant for free. I'd be like, just take it. You need it. So if you do not wear deodorant, please start wearing it because it's good hygiene. And also, everybody else's noses will thank you. This is like sort of a school thing. Like if you're a student, you might understand this. People who will be like, oh yeah, let's hang out this summer. And then summer comes and they never hit you up at all. Or like summer break goes by and they didn't even like, say a word to you and then when you get back they're like hey what's up girl you're like how are you doing no no I don't know like it's not because I feel like oh everybody needs to hang out with me no because when people ask me to do things most of the time I say no so I can't even really like be a hypocrite don't tell somebody let's hang out this summer and then never text them like I just feel like people do that as a courtesy you don't have to hang out with somebody but don't say that you're going to just don't do it people who blow cigarette smoke in your face while you're walking down the street this is not even pertaining just to summer only this is like a year-round thing there is a special place in hell for people like you who blow smoke in people's faces like how disrespectful maybe lung cancer was on your agenda but it is definitely not on mine that happened to me three times today when I was walking through New 
York City. I was walking down the street and in less than four minutes, like three people had blown smoke in my face. I was like, what? Why are you passing that on to me? I'm not a smoker. I do not need tobacco in my system. If you want to smoke, go ahead, but don't blow it in my face. Like, and they didn't even care too. Like, they were just like, like, that's how you look, like a freaking dragon. I don't even know what number I'm on, um, but the next one is Taurus. I'm, okay. I know that my views on Taurus are controversial, but I do not care. I do not care. And you know why I don't care. I realized that I had it with Taurus when one day I decided to go to Central Park to work out. And it was in the morning. And guys, by the way, I'm actually like working out now, like... I'm proud of myself, I don't know. Like, if you know me, then you know how unhealthy I am. So I was at a very, very um, big tourist spot. It's like one of the biggest tourist spots ever. Central Park itself is one of the biggest tour, I think it's like one of the biggest tourist spots in the entire world, Central Park. So I was in Central Park at this like really famous fountain and they have stairs there because part of my cardio was running stairs. So I was just like doing my thing. And then after I finished, I like got my stuff Stuff together and then I started to leave the park and as I was leaving the park like walking out of Central Park I was hit in the face with a selfie stick that is the moment that I realized like okay you just ruined tourists for me I was trying to give them a chance you know there were a lot of tourists there I was like oh they're just taking pictures like it's great it's whatever I'm just going home and this man decides to put his selfie stick to like the longest length possible and be like cheat like no no if there are a bunch of people around you why would you just like whip out your six foot selfie stick and start waving it around like you're at central park no no don't do that so i was hit in the face with the selfie stick and he was just like oh i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i was like it's fine, like, I can't, I'm not gonna like beat you with the selfie stick, like, no, I just went home. So that was the moment that I realized, like, okay, I'm done with tours, so that is part of the reason why I hate the summer, because that's when the tourists come out. That's when they're here to stay. Like, they also come out during spring break, Thanksgiving break, but like, those are very short breaks, but summer, they're, they're here to stay. The last thing that I hate will have to be the bugs. Mosquitoes, insects, water bugs, oh my god. All of those things, I just hate them so much. Especially like when they buzz in your ear, oh my god. Being a camp counselor, we were in the park a lot. And I'm so excited for the story time, by the way, guys. There's so much that I will have to say in that story time. That story time, wow. But part of my job being a camp counselor was we were in the park a lot, Central Park a lot. And and I was with the kids and everything. There was this one point where I was wearing a bright yellow shirt and the regular shirts are gray. I will get to why. In that story time, I will explain why I was wearing a bright ass yellow shirt, but I was and we were coming back from the pool and a bumblebee started chasing me like out of nowhere. I was leading the group of kids. I did not care. Sis, I ran. I ran for my life. Like that bumblebee was chasing my ass. It was chasing me like, and it would not give up. And it was because I was wearing a bright yellow. I looked like a literal big ass sunflower. Like, So that bumblebee was chasing me and it finally stopped because I put, like we were coming back from the pool, the Central Park pool, and it stopped because I had a brown towel. So I put it over me. I guess that it was like camouflage cause you know like, brown you know <laughs> so it finally stopped chasing me when I covered up the yellow but I left those kids like I ran I had co-counselors with me that were watching them but I do not care I ran and I tried to play it off I was just like yeah like if I got stung by that bumblebee I would have broken out in hives I'm like really allergic but no truth is I've never been stung by a bumblebee and I was not about to get stung that day so my I was I was gone like I, I bolted I, I was gone I feel like this video has been way too long I've been filming for almost an hour thank you Brenna for giving me the idea to do a what I hate type of video because there are a lot of things that I hate and I feel better after this video because I got a lot of things off of my chest so thank you guys for watching I really appreciate it if you found this video funny or you agree with any of the things that I said give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you guys hate about the summertime anything if it's the bugs people tourists whatever comment down below and also if you're not subscribed make sure to do that and yeah, that is it for my video. I love you all so, so much, and I will see you this Saturday with another new video. Bye!